In this video, I'm going to talk about how to handle employee loans or employee cash advances. I'm going to use QuickBooks Online to demonstrate this, but the concept would be the same in any program. If you have an employee that you decide to give an advance or cash advance to, and they're going to pay you back, such as maybe through the payroll system, then you're going to want to keep track of that loan to the employee. When someone owes the business money, that's considered a receivable, which is an asset account. So I'm going to first set up the employee loan receivable account. So I'm in the chart of accounts and I'm going to click on new and create that account. For the account type, I'm going to use other current assets and the detail type will be employee cash advances. And now that I have that set up, I'm going to do a few example transactions for demonstration. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a check for the loan to the employee. So I'm going to go to new and I'm going to choose check. But if this was an expense, you could instead use expense or you could create a journal entry. I'm going to go ahead and click on check. I'm going to put in the employee's information. And for the category, I'm going to use that account that I just set up. And I'm just going to use $500 as the amount. And let's just assume that this employee is going to get this $500 as an advance, and they're going to repay it through payroll on the next two paychecks. So I'm going to go ahead and make a description. I would also want to put the date. Let's just make it a week ago. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and save and close. And you can see right here the employee loan receivable account, and it shows a $500 balance. And then when I process the next payroll, I would deduct that loan payment from the employee's paycheck. So like I said, for example, we're going to deduct $250 on the first paycheck and then $250 on the next paycheck. So I'm going to go ahead and make the entry for that payroll. So I'm going to click on New Expense, and I'm going to put in the paycheck or the payroll entry as usual. So I'm going to use the example that maybe this person's gross wages were $1,000. And then they would have some payroll taxes deducted. I'm just going to say $200. And then they would also have the loan payment. So I'm going to categorize that as the employee loan receivable. So what I have here is a positive number for the amount of the gross wages. And then I'm subtracting or putting negatives for anything that was deducted. And the employee's net paycheck will be $550 after those deductions. And while I'm here, I'm also going to put in the employer's payroll taxes. The employer has to pay the FICA match and other expenses. So I'm going to go ahead and include it in this entry. So let's just use 125 for the employer taxes. OK. And I'm going to go ahead and put in some descriptions just to make sure it's clear. Okay, and for the employer tax, I've got a positive number for the expense to the business and a negative number for the deduction. And if you need to know the debits and credits of this for accounting purposes, an expense or a check in QuickBooks is a credit to whatever payment account is up here. So this is a credit to checking. 
Any positive numbers here are debits, and any negative numbers here are credits. So if you need further explanation, let me know in the comments and I might be able to make another video. I'm gonna go ahead and save and close this. And now you can see that the employee loan receivable account is down to $250. I'm gonna go ahead and click on view register. So the original loan was $500 to the employee and then the repayment so far is $250 and that leaves a balance of $250 that will be repaid on the next paycheck. What I wanna do next is look at the reports. First, I'm gonna look at the balance sheet. If I were to click on checking, I would see both of those payments. Here's the payment to the employee for the cash advance, and then here's the paycheck to the employee. Okay, I'm gonna go back. And here's the employee loan receivable account, which reflects the 250 that the employee still owes. And then also there's $325 that the employer is going to be remitting to the tax agency. Okay, now I'm gonna go back to the profit and loss. And the expense to the business is the $1,000 gross wages and the employer portion of payroll taxes. The employee loan should not be on the profit and loss. It was on the balance sheet. And that's all I wanted to cover in this video. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below and thank you for watching.